Hi everybody, welcome to our printmaking workshop for kindergarten and first grade. Here are some of the supplies you're going to get. You're going to get this foam uh, paper, you're going to get a blank sheet of paper, you'll have a pencil, and some other things. But let me just get started. You are going to be creating a picture of your choice. A fall picture, perhaps. Maybe something with leaves or, or pumpkins or um, maybe if you celebrate Halloween, something you're going to dress up as. Your picture can really be about anything you would like. So I've already jumped ahead and on my paper, I've kept it simple for my lesson video and I have drawn a pumpkin shape. Once you have your drawing complete, you are going to get a piece of tape from me and we're going to tape this picture to the top of our foam paper and if you need a second piece you can tape um, maybe the side or the bottom. Now my bottom piece is a little bit bigger my paper is a little bit bigger than my foam piece so there we go now once you're set up like this, you're going to take your pencil and you're going to trace over this. And you're going to notice it's a little hard to do. And you want to press down firmly, but not where you're poking a hole through the foam. So you can kind of hear that kind of crunchy sound that I'm making as I trace my pumpkin shape. Now for other ideas. If you're having a hard time coming up with ideas, I do have um, coloring sheets that you might look at and get an idea. Um, but I have a feeling you won't have a problem with ideas. So I'm tracing around and I'm going to try to go quick so I can show you what happens. And this is very similar to block printing. But with block printing, we can't really do it kindergarten, first grade, is it involves a sharp tool that you would carve with. I'm going to skip my little curly cue, but I'll do my, my moon. All right, I think I did pretty good. And then you're going to take, oops, this off, and it doesn't matter if you are uh, ripping your drawing because you don't need that anymore and as long as you have pressed firmly enough hopefully you can see that the indentations that have been made now to be on the safe side to make sure this print comes out I'm going to have you trace over it to make sure those lines are deep enough for the printing process Now, once you have traced over these lines to really make things show up, I'm going to have another lesson video on how to do the actual printing. So what you've made right now is a printing plate. Okay. All right, so I'm ready. My printing plate is ready. The next lesson video will cover the actual printing process.